cruiser. Like, I don't know why I've been fancying those vehicles, right? So I stop. I'm like, hey, bro, I'm interested in GR86 or Supra. He goes, oh, okay, come with me. I said, all right, bro, I'm following this. Boom. All right. Brings me to an office. I'm like, wait, do you have the cars in stock here? And he's like, I'll check. But take a seat. And so I asked him, like, very kindly, I asked him, yo, oh, you want me to play the music? I asked him, I said, yo, what are we sitting down here for? And he goes, what do you mean, what are we sitting down here for? What do you want? I'm like, to see the car. He's like, you should have said that. Do you, think I, do you think I came here to talk to you? Do you think I wanted to have a conversation about the car after I discovered it exists here? Show me the car. I don't know why the nigga was having an attitude. I obviously don't want to be sold. I don't know how to tell the nigga without flexing. I don't know, bro. I don't never know I'm gonna buy a car until I see the car and then I buy it. I don't know, nigga. I don't know how I buy cars, nigga. I, I, you don't have to convince me. First of all, I know more about that car than him, okay? Niggas in these dealerships don't even know about the cars, bro. That's why I asked the lady for he, a black he thing the when truth I went on to the Cadillac one. dealership and she was so perplexed. She's like, what is that? CT5B, what is that? A sedan. Oh, the sedans are this way. I'm not gonna lie. Some of you salespeople think you know. Some of you salespeople fucking suck. I ain't gonna lie, though. That's really life, though. You you find out half of the people that got their jobs, they don't know what they doing. They have no clue in the freaking world on what they're doing. And you be like, bro, how'd you get this job? And so I just knew somebody. Somebody put me on. Half of these niggas, bro, I promise you, if you go, a lot of these people that work these jobs do not know what they be doing. <laughs> they just working. <laughs> bare minimum. They just work, ass, bro. bro. Y'all niggas ass, bro. I, I think I'm going to retire from streaming for a year to become a salesperson just to just to destroy some of these sales niggas. Like, see, some of y'all niggas actually suck. Let me get this yap off. Bro, y'all niggas suck. Y'all niggas make the car buying experience ass. Shout out my nigga Elon Musk, bro. The best car buying experience of my life was when I bought my Tesla. No hassle, no haggle. They wasn't scamming or they wasn't price gouging. They weren't marking up prices. They weren't being assholes. I was in and out that bitch in like fucking 20 minutes, bro. Left with a car. And you go to Toyota dealership, niggas can't even identify the cars in the roster, bro. Shit's He's not lying on that. He's spitting right, anyway, on that one, My rent's bro. done. Sorry for the app, guys. It'd be so difficult Nine to go get in the car. That whole process is so difficult for no reason, bro. They make it difficult for no reason. Constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't social sh that's my point. And after that clip, basically the debate on if streaming is harder than <laughs> 9 to 5 spread the internet like wildfire. Every news page was talking about it. People made videos about it. It was a hot topic for a few days. Now, me personally, I don't think that streaming is harder than a 9 to 5 because a 9 to 5 is... Chad, does he have a bigger head than me? Draining. While streaming is only mentally nah. draining. You still got the fattest forehead, I know. I completely Damn, disagree. nigga cleared all the keys. Yo. Hulk smash every key on that bitch. I completely disagree with this song when he says that. The 9 to 5 doesn't suck the soul out of you because they actually do. I'm pretty sure we've all worked a job before that sucked the absolute life out of us. Like, it's pretty common. But I do feel like there is merit to what Hassan is saying. Like, the way I see it is that, like, just because a 9 to 5 is hard, that doesn't mean that streaming is easy. I feel like a lot of people under... Bros, people think streaming is easy because... Okay. <clears throat> People think streaming is easy because people think all streamers are millionaires. And that skews the topic tremendously because niggas think, oh, because it's you being paid more to do it, the job is easier or harder. How much you get paid is completely independent of how easy or hard the job is, okay? Like uh, being a doctor, I'm not gonna lie, there's way more lucrative jobs than a doctor, but it's a hard job, respectfully. It's easy to get it wrong, but I'll start diagnosing niggas left and right for the wrong things. <laughs> so I think some people, like, Hey, I you know who you know whose opinion like matters the most? Niggas who streamed for a long time to nobody didn't make no money from streaming, but wanted to make it their career. Those niggas would have an interesting insight, bro. Because they're not getting paid at all, but they still are streaming. So they're doing it regardless. 
underestimate the amount of Facts. work that streamers actually I'm one have of them. to do because of how Help me out, bro. Streaming I'm streaming. I mean, no viewers. Stream, it does look lazy as shit. I'm be honest, bro. Playing a game or Help it out, videos, bro. The people do that for free. Because when you see somebody doing it for numerous hours each day and they're making money from it, it's like, oh, I could most likely do that. I mean, it seems pretty easy. I, I do that for free. So why not do it for some bread? But if I'm being honest, I personally don't think that streaming is easy at all. Like, I saw a lot of people trying to write this off as like anyone could stream, but not anyone could work a nine to five, which I completely disagree with. The way I see stream. <laughs> oh, what? Bro, who said that? That's no, that's a bad take. I've never heard no nigga say that before, bro. Streaming is kind of like the way I see soccer. <laughs> Anybody could play soccer. Bro, what? Then do it. Then why, bro, why aren't you doing it? Just do it. What the fuck? The way I feel like, bro, no matter what career path, no what, what decision you make in life, everything comes with its pros and cons. Streaming is hard, working a nine to five is hard, having a being a blue collar dude is hard. Like no matter what job or route you take, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna nothing in life is easy, bro. You always gonna have some trials and tribulations, something gonna come along with it. Nothing in life is just cake. Here you go. Unless you're just born into a rich and wealthy family, then this this conversation not about you. But like you gotta go out here and grind it and eventually you will get the payout or you will see the the pros of the decision that you made. Going to be a doctor for what, like eight years of school, then eventually you will start to see why you went to school because of how much money you made. You go to be a lawyer, like you be a Twitch streamer, like eventually you do it long enough and you be consistent with it. You Eventually you will blow up and then the retention, the rate is that you will get people to watch you and you get the views and you get the money. You just, in life, bro, it don't matter what you choose. It's always going to be that, hard. That the way I see soccer, anybody could play soccer, but not everyone can be good at soccer. Fucking animal. Anyone can stream, but not everyone can be a yeah, full-time We're out to enter Miami game like, this year. I don't think people realize how hard it is to get to that point where you're a full-time streamer on Twitch. It takes a lot of hard work and a lot of strategy because Twitch has one of the worst algorithms of all time because they don't push you in any way, shape, or form. You have to bring people to your stream. You can't just sit there playing a game all day and expect money and viewership. Like, it just doesn't work like that. It's literally impossible to grow on Twitch by only streaming. All the top streamers have said it before. Cause like the best strategy for growing on Twitch is, is still TikTok. growing on YouTube, TikTok or another platform. Uh, my advice to anybody that wants to grow streaming, don't stream a lot. You can't just spark up on stream every day on Twitch and get viewers. That's just not how it is. You know, you gotta go on dif different platforms, post your clips and then- Chat, where's Queso you from? Know, if you do it right. What city? We'll come. Yeah. Go on TikTok, make more TikToks, do more YouTube shorts, try to grow outside of the platform. Arkansas. Because if it hasn't been obvious for the past six years now, I would have never guessed Arkansas. Anymore. That's not how it works. You have to find discoverability through other places. It's weird when streamers think, hey, if I want to be a Twitch streamer, I got to start on Twitch. I got to fire up. I got to sign up, make a Twitch channel, make a name for myself. When it's literally the worst option to become a Twitch streamer is to stream on Twitch first. Mm -hmm. You have to do something else where you have to become famous first. Like if you have zero viewers on Twitch, your stream is getting sent to nobody. And the odds of people finding you are slim to none. That's why most of the top streamers had some sort of strategy to bring in viewership to get to where they are now. For instance, Ludwig would do challenges on stream and upload those challenges to YouTube so that the people from his YouTube would tune into his streams. And Queso would take clips from his stream and upload those clips to TikTok so that the people from TikTok would come to his streams. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Like these streamers never just sat there all day and happened to become big streamers. Bro, I remember when I was giving people that advice like four years, bro, like years ago, everyone was like, bad advice agent, bad advice. I'm like, I don't know, I gotta do what you want, I guess. But nigga, you asked me a question, I gave you my insight. Bro, I'm telling you, there is a few streamers on the planet who are massive and gained their popularity by streaming. I'm telling you, everyone else had an audience somewhere else and brought it to their stream. Like that's what 98% of the streamers y'all niggas watch do. They was big on YouTube. They were, they could be big on fucking Snapchat for all I give a fuck. They just brought an audience from somewhere. They didn't, they, the, their audience didn't spawn from the platform they streamed on, they brought it out of nowhere. They utilize different platforms to funnel an audience to Twitch while also most likely working normal jobs. And on top of that, these streamers had to actually be entertaining once people started showing up to their streams. Because if someone sees a clip or a video of you and your stream looks fire, like it just looks amazing. It looks like the funniest thing on earth. Then that person shows up to your stream and it's just you sitting in a chair playing a game, not really reading the chat or anything, not really being interactive. You're just kind of boring. That person is most likely never going to come back. So that first impression 
impression means everything. That's why streamers like Jinxie are so popular now, because his clips are just as funny as his streams. Now, I will say that streaming does get easier after you build up an audience, because you now know that people are actually going to pop out to your streams no matter what, but that still doesn't mean that streaming is easy. Like, if I'm being real, not just anyone can entertain numerous people all at once in the same way that not just anyone can be a construction worker or an electrician. Another thing that people don't really realize about streaming is that you're talking for numerous people while you're live because you're talking for yourself and you're also talking for the chat because in a normal conversation <laughs> with another person you talk for yourself you say something then the other person says something there's a breathing room in between that but with streaming you're talking in both of those spots yourself and the other person and after hours agent is an l chat reader big doe gomar shut the fuck up pussy <laughs> <laughs> of doing that you can get drained Dude, now, can that i was chat off my phone five, no not at all the positives most definitely outweigh the negatives when it comes to streaming i mean you're in the comfort of your own surprise agent no hey this stream oh. was not comfortable at all y'all niggas fucking terrorized me this night bro this stream was not comfortable shut up bro that shit bro this was hey this this was a stream i realized i'm not doing no more sleep streams no more nigga this, we're not even a sleep stream. It's just stay up and get bullied all night by loud noises stream. There's not many physical demands. And you make your own hours. Like, it's definitely a blessing. But all that being said, my overall point is that even though streaming may <laughs> be no. easier than a 9 to 5, that doesn't make streaming easy in general. Like, not just anyone can be a stream. To really understand... Okay, both. chat, but I'm about to put my point, chat. Chat, what's a 9 to 5? What is it? What's a 9 to 5? No, dog. No, name a job that you describe. Obviously, it's a fucking job. You asked. McDonald's, plumber, banker, office job. That's real generic. Only fans. <laughs> this is not true. Valet, accountant, chatter. Okay, car dealership. All right. Of all the jobs I just named, all of them are on the same level of difficulty? No. Some are easy as hell than some of the jobs you name. Very easy. Okay? And some of them are hard as shit. So why the fuck is we talking about this whole thing like it's one thing, bro? This combo fucking sucks. <laughs> I, I agree. There needs to be a job tier list. Yo, that would just yo, that would go viral, nigga. Somebody needs to make a job tier list. <laughs> nah, if that hit the internet, it would be crazy. <laughs> It would not be good hey, if somebody was hey, to make that list. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, that'd be fire, bro. That'd be fire, nigga. That'd be fire. I don't even know how to make that. I don't even know how to make that. All right, remind me right after this video. I'm going to see if one exists on the internet already. Sides, you would have to have a nine to five at one point, but you would also have to have some sort of success with streaming because streaming to an entire audience and like doing it full time is completely different than streaming to like one or two viewers. And even myself, I've never been a full time streamer at any point in my life, but I've tried to become a full time streamer and I completely failed. So I know the struggles of streaming. So yeah, I don't think that streaming is harder than a nine to five, but I don't think that streaming is easy. Like, I still think streaming is super hard to get to that position that streamers like Hassan or Kai Sanat or maybe even Jinxie are in right now. People don't want to hear someone complain when they're in a worse position than the person Neither has playing. agent. But the reality is that everyone on this earth complains no matter how good their life is. Our brain is a problem-solving machine. That's so what I'm no saying. Like, no matter how good you think the next person got, brain is they still complain about something. To complain about. I mean, we do it all the time. I'm American. And a lot of you guys watching are probably from America. first world countries. Now, let me ask you this. How do you think other countries feel when they hear Americans complain about their Wi-Fi going out for 24 hours? I'm I'll be honest. Can I be honest with y'all niggas? Ethiopia has better connection than Atlanta, Georgia. I know other countries look at us like we do. We stupid. I was in the middle of we pay for healthcare. Network connected to the internet in Ethiopia. I'm in my building. Does that make sense? In Atlanta, Georgia, no connection. This is outrageous. What's going on? How is this possible? or their amazon packages not coming in on time they're probably fed up because some countries don't even have wi-fi or amazon they legit only got sticks and stones so you can only imagine how they might think how annoying it is when we complain now nah, it wasn't 5g it was 4g us, but regardless we you're in a building dumbass okay no exaggeration right now on the top of a mountain i have two bars at the amp house that's with 
I got one of them sim boosters. And we had to pay a fuck ton of money, like a truly conglomerate fuck ton of money, just so we could have fiber connection on top of this mountain, bro. Like, if, if we told you the amount, you would literally check us into a mental institution. Okay? So, what point are you trying to make? I can go down the street right now where there's no concrete in sight, and I'll find you a place right down the street with no connection, my nigga, or with one bar. Okay? Connection is just ass in, in the United States. I don't know Cedric. why it's like that. I don't know why it's like that. Going on again. Still find a way to complain no matter how great our lives are compared to others. People are always going to find a way to complain. Like that's just the sad reality. Mr. Beast literally And I got all the and I got all the sim cards. Every company. Oh, he that. killed this yeah, one. He cooked with that one. That was literally a great example. Than the street literally and I got all the sim cards every company. About that. And he was yeah, getting a lot of hate for that video. Streamer sitting in their chair for 9 hours. But that doesn't mean that they can't complain about it. Like maybe it should be off stream or offline when they complain. I feel like that'd be a little bit more sincere. And what was that other video he did when he was like on this earth complains regardless I don't want to say that it was wrong. You know what's fucked up chat? He was on some I video and he like got a lot of hate for nowadays it. nowadays want to become streamers because they think it's easy. Growing up, like, I wanted to be an athlete because it looked fun and easy until you realize it's not. And then after that, like, rapper was the next thing. Like, rapper looks so easy to I don't think like, being a streamer is easy, but it's definitely fun and they have its perks because you're doing something you enjoy. And I, I only became a streamer because I used to be in college and I seen Nick Merckx stream a lot and i was like bro this junk is so fun so i finally learned how to stream got myself situated saved up caught the pc and then i streamed like no I ain't streaming to no viewers right now but i know eventually that'll become like i'm having fun because this is something i wanted to do <laughs> i don't really care what no one else think <laughs> oh i want to be a rapper <laughs> y'all niggas be tripping bro now streaming is the new fun and easy thing and i don't know maybe in like five years the thing is gonna be something different but like if you ask kids nowadays what they want to be they're gonna say uh youtuber or streamer that's crazy. That's crazy. Just to think about that is crazy. Because growing up, look, I'm not that old, chat. You bought my nigga, today? My answer was astronaut. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I said, what did I want to be when I was growing up? I think I had two different answers. One was a dentist. Oh, speaking of that, we, we got to talk. So, yeah, we got to talk. But, um... I think one was a dentist, and I forgot what the other one was. It was a dental hygienist, and then it was something else. I can't remember what the second one was. My Growing answer up, was what astronaut, I guys. <laughs> okay, but I wanted to fly in outer space. All right, you never know what life will take I, you, bro. And then maybe when I was like eight years old, I, I thought I wanted. But you to also got to think you're. You, I kind of hate that question. Now to be talking about it, you're asking an eight year old, a ten year old, twelve year old, what do you want to be when you grow up? Obviously, as you grow, that answer is going to change. You're asking a freaking kid, what does he want to be when he grows up? Nigga, I wouldn't blame him if he said he wanted to be a superhero because that's the most logical answer you can ask a kid. You're asking a kid, what does he want to be when he grow up? What does he say? Most of them always say, well, I want to be the president of the United States. So I want to be a police officer. Why? Because that's, that's what's shown in their face when you go to career day. So you're asking a kid, what does he want to be when he grow up? Why does you? Why do you think he's gonna stick with the same answer? But he ain't went through nothing in life. He ain't had no pain yet. He ain't fell in love yet. He ain't, he ain't had no friends yet. He ain't been influenced. You just asking the kid, what does he want to be? Like, come on, bro. The NBA. Mine was doctor. So technically, I am halfway there. <laughs> what, bro? Usually, your parents just want you to. Your parents <laughs> like try and put that in your mind. Yo, like, yo, you know? Okay, boom. Just like how. Just like how I'm going to try and convince my kids to be legendary athletes <laughs> so they can play in the Saudi league and make $500 million. <laughs> He's spitting. That's just like when they be watching a, or when you watch like a movie or a TV show and then the dad or the, the the mom be like, I've been pushing you my whole life to do this. And the kid be like, no, this is your dream. This is your goal. This is what you want to do. And the parent be like, oh, I thought this is what we wanted. Nigga, no, that's what you wanted. You never asked me what I wanted to be. <laughs> like, bro, no, you asking a kid what does he want to be? Bro, growing up, my parents did the same thing with being a doctor. Like, they tried to make being a doctor look so cool <laughs> so that I could want to do it, bro. Dead ass. That's how this I did. This did not work, mom.